Television is brought to you by JD Factors, charting a path to growth. Day and Ross, owner operator driven. Trucker Television Advertising, the voice of Canadian trucking. Welcome to Trucker Television, the best of the trucking world. This week on Trucker Television, a cool custom 1995 international saving you money with tuning experts diesel spec the montreal international truck show expo cam but first more northern ontario with blade law tank We don't uh, get into the cities too much. It's mostly uh, the remote areas that we deliver. Our main customer is, um, is Carmoose Lime, uh, which is um, a lime that we haul for the mines. Uh, there's basically two applications. One is for water treatment and one is for uh, smeltering in the process of the ore. So there, um, it's probably 90% of what we do here is with these uh, with these tankers is uh, all uh, lime. We all obviously other kinds of uh, cement, ammonium nitrate, calcium, uh, soda ash, uh, and the list goes on and on, but the main thing that we do here is, is lime. There's some lanes that, uh, that we can offer to different individuals depending on their uh, location. Uh, we do have some guys that uh, live uh, in Quebec and some in the New Lisgard area, and they basically, we have worked with, basically brings them through the door may not be able necessarily to be home uh, every day, but they have time to stop in for a bite to eat and then carry on. My name is Marcel Savoy. I was raised in Earlton, but I live in Ulerskard. And I've been with, uh, well, I was with Laidlaw Flatbed for two and a half years. And then I've been with the tank division for, I guess up, it was three years, and four years in the spring that I've been with them. 18 years old when I started and I'm 52 now. We're hauling lime and that's a product of the uh, rocks that's been grinded and that. We load out our Sprague and Sprague is just a seaport. They bring the rock by boat and then it's being transformed, heated up and that. And they use the lime to bring the pH back to normal in the water contaminated from mine sites or whatever reason or whatever. The place where we're going is, uh, was an open pit. They have a mountain of rocks and when they closed the mine they covered the pile with soil and put grass on it. It's all nice and green but the water seeps through it and when it comes out at the bottom it's all rusted up and loses its pH and we bring everything back to normal with the line and then it can go back in the river as clean product. The weather uh, would probably be the first thing that comes to mind uh, as far as challenges in uh, winter time. Uh, the last winter we had was a fairly long one and. Uh, it didn't seem to want to go away and that's uh, that'd be a challenge and then uh, in the springtime we have animals to contend with there's uh, a lot of moose bears deers they have to be alert and uh, be able to see them and uh, you know to avoid a collision because they are very costly when it does happen this is moose country here quite a bit and going up to Lassar and after we see the mixture between bears moose and caribous. It goes slower and, that, and I always make sure that every fall I get a, a new set of uh, drive tires and all of that, keep good tires, try to have less possible trouble. And if it's storming like the, from head office and that there, there's no load that is uh, urgent enough to be driving on high, like uh, in a rain, ice rain or whatever say park, you don't feel safe, just park and that's it.
most of the guys that are here are here by choice so that they don't have to deal with the uh, daily chores of traffic and what have you. Um, you know, a, a traffic jam here is when you go through Sudbury, you might be in it for 10, 15 minutes and then, you know, you're traveling again. So, uh, unlike, uh, you know, down in Toronto, you could be sitting in there for several hours before you get going again. So it's, uh, it's a choice that most people make and um, it's uh, definitely an asset not, not having to deal with the traffic. Uh, you know, the most traffic you'll get is probably the wildlife that you'll run into the road, which obviously you don't want to run into, but I mean, that's uh, part of the scenery or the uh, traveling that we are faced with when you're working up here. Oh, I like Ontario. Mix it between Ontario and Quebec there and that. The northern Ontario, you can take off. If I have to make a trip on a long weekend, I'm not worried about traffic backups and all of that there. It's going to be slower, maybe five, ten kilometers slower. But like that's it, you can go and you know you'll be able to go at the other end and come back and it might take you 15, 20 minutes longer, but you'll get there and not hours after. And it's far enough that it's not like a gravel truck that you're 10, 12 loads a day or waiting for a backhoe. You're doing ditches and you're waiting and waiting all day and then there is far enough that you see different things all day but you always go to the same place you don't need to pull up the map or anything I know exactly where it's gonna go how much uh, how much time it's gonna take me to get there and all of that so you get a, a new place we get a new customer that we'll have to deliver line to okay the first time it's a little bit hectic to find and find the silo and where to dump and how it's going to be dumped and all of that but once you've been there we have maybe 12 15 customers that we go to and we know them all and we know who's there and who's going to receive and all that we know all our clients and that so that's the way i like it After the break, more trucker television. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Diesel spec. Tune in for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Ontario Truck Driving School. Training for your future. Your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted. Four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. We understand the movement of goods from anywhere to anywhere in the world. We connect the dots and add clarity to life. And that's what supply chain does. Challenger Motor Freight. Join our team and go the distance. Trucker Television is brought to you by SUSA Truck Trailer Repair. New Air Cambridge location now open. Be on Trucker Television at Truck and Roll on Curve. 
diesel spec, engine tuning experts, RPM Havelock, the show that has it all, Wasp Cam, the sports action camera Trucker Television uses, a leading authority in dry van transportation, the only call you need to make for all your shipping requirements, Spady Transport, carrying your business load. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Meet Danny, the Count of Counting Cars, Canada's biggest swap meet, RPM Havelock. Closed captioning by Bryson Insurance, your partner in success for family and business. My name is Henry Turney from Capus Casing, Ontario. Yeah, it's so far up north to bring the sun down with a rope at night. Been coming to Fergus Trucks over the last 12 years now. Well, I've been a diesel mechanic all my life working on trucks and I said I want to build something just for myself for a toy, like, you know? So we figured a little truck like that would be a perfect thing. Huh? At one time it was a straight job with an 18 foot box in the back, like, you know? It's an old 95 uh, 4700 International I bought just to restore to pull a camper trailer with. And, uh, Switch the engine over to a Cummins 5.9, 360 horse. Change the transmission to a nine speed. Uh, change the back engine to an air ride. Added the bunk. And uh, it, 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 just about anything, all the LED lights. And, uh, added in there, an AC, there was no AC added in the, and after, uh, aftermarket AC on it. We've been, every summer we tour the country, like, going to truck shows and country and music festival with it. Pulling a, a big fifth wheel camper. A lot of stainless on it, quite a bit of stainless actually, a lot of lights. Uh, all of the, a lot of that stuff was done by Micmac uh, Fabrication in New Lisgar, yeah? yeah, the chrome stuff. Uh, a lot of it was done by them. Yeah. That's a dream toy I wanted to build for years. Eh? It's a toy. Yeah. I, I'm 11 years now playing with that. Yeah, do a little bit every year. After the break, we're at Diesel Spec. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Meet Danny, the Count of Counting Cars, Canada's biggest swap meet. RPM Havelock. Diesel Spec, tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? A leading authority in dry van transportation the only call you need to make for all your shipping requirements. Spady Transport, carrying your business load. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a driver. Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, Great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, Transportation Specialists. Ontario Truck Driving School, training for your future, your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank, Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. 
New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Well, I'm Christian Fournier, the president of Diesel Spec Inc. in Montreal here. Our business is actually for ECM tuning and remapping for uh, get better fuel economy and performance on uh, big rigs, heavy duty and medium duty. ECM tuning is the process of fine tuning the software that controls the engine management. So the results are more power, better fuel economy, and there's no danger for the engine. Ten years ago when we started, we were an engine repair shop. But in the mid-90s when the, the electronic control engine started to become popular, that's where we, we started to you know, be curious and open some ECMs to see if we could repair them. And by starting doing this, we, we were able to replace some parts like the microprocessor, the EEPROMs. And by doing this, we, we were able to, to modify the inside the chips. That's where we found out that we could modify the mapping of the engine by raising horsepower and torque. It all started like this and uh, then we made tools for different ECMs and the business I started about tuning about 10 years ago so and now we're doing about 2,000 trucks a year so it's, this is how it, it started. Well either for the driver or company right now the main thing is fuel economy. So some guys are looking for performance uh, because on, on the application that they need to go on, but the fleets or 90% of the guys are looking for fuel economy. So by remapping uh, ECM, making a tuning, uh, normally you gain about 40 to 50 horsepower, but you can gain between 5 and 25% uh, in fuel economy, this it's a big number at the end of the year. If you save between ten and fifteen thousand dollar per fuel in truck, uh, plus having the advantage of uh, having more performance, so it's it's that's the main the main goal. We have two types of guys that don't care about the fuel economy. There's the guys that pulls very heavy loads and they just want 100 or 200 more horsepower uh, to work. Uh, so this is not a problem, this is one type. The other types is for the, the competition drag racing that we're well known of doing. Uh, we do a lot of them that we can bring an engine to like 2000 horsepower. So this required like not only a tuning, but also a lot of engine modification. But those two types of customers, they, they just don't care about fuel economy. Fifteen years ago, there was a one ECM that controls the, the, the engine. Now with the new 2010 and up truck, there could be three computers that controls the engine. So you need to modify those three computers. But with the experience we got, we made our own tool. We invest a lot of time and money on development. All our tuning is made here. Our tools are made by us. So uh, I think with experience now we can, we can tune almost any North American uh, engines. S uh, seven, eight years ago, I was alone doing this and everybody had to come here 
to do it. But now in the past years we, we may develop some toolings that allows uh, us to do it remotely. So just in Canada from BC to Nova Scotia we have about 75 resellers that all our customers can go there and they don't have to send the ECMs here anymore. No more downtime, no more shipping costs. They just go to one of our resellers. It takes about between one hour and two hours. Everything is done, so it's a fast way. Uh, even if you're in US, in Europe, whatever, the tool will work. As long as you have internet, it will work anywhere in the world. Yeah, you can see here a three-dimension map that we can see the original mapping and what we did after the tuning that we can raise and control fuel going to the engine and you know we have no limits uh, for sure you can see here a difference of 50 percent in the fuel map that is way too much power but we can play with the mapping like this to control the pulse width the quantity of fuel going into the cylinder, the timing, the torque limiters, but this is one map, but we have no limits on, on any engine. Any brands need different software, different tooling, but this is an example of, of a, a fuel map here. So. After the break, Expo Cam. Challenger Motor Freight. We understand the movement of goods from anywhere to anywhere in the world. We connect the dots and add clarity to life. And that's what supply chain does. Challenger Motor Freight. Join our team and go the distance. Diesel Spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? Looking for a new opportunity? Fleetway Transport is now hiring company drivers and owner operators for flatbed and heavy haul. Join the Fleetway family. Apply today at FleetwayTransport.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at TruckerTelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Laid Law Carriers Van LP. They pay me well. They have a good fuel surcharge calculation program with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Trucker Television. Buy truckers for truckers. Celebrating life on the road. Trucker Television advertising. Speaking to truckers like no other. Oh yeah, always remember, watch for the brake checks. Laidlock Carriers Tank is seeking liquid tank owner operators. Competitive fuel surcharge program. Base plates, border crossings, and tolls paid. Our people and equipment set us apart. Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Trucker Television is brought to you by RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Wasp Cam, the sports action camera Trucker Television uses. Diesel Spec, engine tuning experts. Be on Trucker Television at Truck and Roll on Curve. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Laidlaw Carriers Tank, Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Meet Danny, the count of counting cars. 
Canada's biggest swap meet, RPM Havelock. Welcome to Trucker Television. We're here at the Expo Cam in Montreal, Quebec. Hi, I'm Angela with Trucker Television. Could you introduce yourself and the company you're with? Yes, my name is Ray Prevo. I'm from Dan Ross. So tell us a little bit about Dan Ross. Well, Dan Ross is, first of all, Dan Ross, it's, uh, it's probably the first company when they have only owner operator. So tell me a little bit of history about Day and Ross. 50 years in the business, so it's uh, one of the oldest company in uh, Canada, and it's a great company. And what brings you guys here to the Expo Cam in Montreal? Recruiting. Hi, I'm Mark Luda and I'm representing Big Front Grill today. What is Big Front Grill? Big Front Grill is a stainless steel animal protection guard that's designed to put in front of the trucks to protect truckers and their trucks against animal collisions. Herb Transporter was started in 1959 by Vernon Herb uh, with one dump truck and uh, it grew from there to a fleet of a little over 600 power units and 1,100 reefer trailers. We're based in New Hamburg, Ontario. We've got locations all over Ontario, uh, terminal in Quebec, and one in Manitoba. Well, my truck's been in business for over 100 years. Um, dedicated company, very close to its customers. Um, very strong brand, brand recognition is very, very good with Mack Trucks, with the Bulldogs known across the world, so very, very impressed. Our, our, our new product right now is uh, we have the M-Drive, which is the, the automated transmission that we have. Very popular, it's probably close to 60% of our sales right now in our, in our trucks. And this year we just introduced the uh, Twin Y suspension, which is a, a lightweight uh, highway suspension that, that will increase tire wear and, and, and reduce fuel economy. So we're very proud of that as well. Volvo, of course, is uh, originated uh, in Sweden, and we've been in uh, North America since uh, 1987. Volvo's all about uh, safety, quality, and care for the environment. We have a very aerodynamic truck, which helps to uh, uh, increase fuel economy, which then uh, uses uh, less fuel and uh, decreases our carbon footprint. As well, at our factory, uh, we have. Uh, taken many steps to uh, reduce uh, our carbon footprint there in the production of our trucks. We're very focused on uh, uh, the driver and his environment inside the truck, as well as many safety uh, features that we have, like our Volvo Enhanced Cruise, which uh, monitors how close uh, we are uh, between us, the tractor, and uh, what's in front of it. It can help uh, avoid collisions. Uh, we have uh, Volvo Enhanced uh, Stability Technology, which uh, helps to reduce the, um, the possibility of uh, rollover. Uh, so it's, there's a lot of very innovative uh, features that we have. Tell us a little bit about Manuk. Well, we're a manufacturer of trailer, OEM. Obviously, we uh, manufacture a bunch of different uh, uh, kind of uh, trailer. Uh, it goes from dry box, uh, low bed, the dump trailer, flat bed. Uh, we do a lot of different stuff and, uh, you know, great, uh, great trailer. For the past, like, 12 years, we, uh, we bought a lot of uh, company. We, we bought Fabrex, we bought also Lidl Canada uh, for every all and everything. So uh, we're manufacturing that uh, doesn't stop to evolve over the years. So. Freightliner trucks? Well, Freightliner has uh, been around for 70 years now. Uh, started uh, from a gentleman by the name of Leland James, uh, who owned a, a fleet called Consolidated Freightways back in the 1940s. 
uh, was founded on really innovation. And, uh, and that's what we kind of uh, uh, follow to this day. We are a very innovative company, and the products that we have in the marketplace now uh, lead the industry in things like fuel efficiency and lightweight, and uh, things that really bring a, uh, the total cost of ownership uh, down for uh, our customers that operate our trucks. Send us a picture of your truck and you could win a set of new line fenders. Working trucks, show trucks. New trucks, old trucks. Send us a picture of your truck. You will be entered into the second annual Trucker Television New Line Fender Contest. Next week on Trucker Television. Rig of the Week, a 2000 Super Scania. We're at the Challenger Trucker Olympics. Saving you money with tuning experts, diesel spec. And we're in Northern Quebec with Laidlaw Tank North. Trucker Television is brought to you by JD Factors, charting a path to growth. Day and Ross, owner operator driven. Trucker Television Advertising. The voice of Canadian trucking.